Hello everyone and welcome back to Timberborn. This is episode 12 of the Badlands Plane series. In the last episode we reorganized how the second aqueduct is going to be rearranged. We also finished building this first mechanical water pump. We need to connect it into some power which we started working on that a little bit. We have some of these large water wheels set up and we're going to get some power shafts put under here that is eventually going to make its way all the way and power some of these. We'll add in some more of these large water wheels over here and we might even do the same up on this area. You can see that all these beaver workers are bringing wood to finish this part of the aqueduct. And at this point we have nine builders huts, so we have no shortage of workers right now. To kick things off, I think we're going to actually move this district center just a little bit, move it right over here. Just help it get a little bit closer to all of these other buildings. Since when we first set up this district, having this area as a central hub made the most sense, but now we're kind of expanding over in this direction. And if we move the district center over this way, then we can probably get a third district set up somewhere over here. That way they will have access to this mine, and then they will be able to help construct the later parts of the aqueduct. So we're gonna pause everything and then delete it and there is a lot of red around here. But we can put in this district center and then we're gonna rename this to Bravo City 2.0 and then we can let everything keep going. And you can see there's a lot less red now in this area, especially with all the housing. And it's a little bit closer for some of the construction over here. And even the buildings over here aren't even really that red. I'm also thinking that we're going to add in a district crossing right here which will be for Bravo City and Alpha City and then we can use this district crossing to work for the new district. We will need to cut off this path right here and then one of these paths that connects in right here. And if we do end up transferring some of these buildings to the new district then they'll get a lot of wood which will help them in the long run for constructing all the, all the levees over here that we'll be using for the aqueduct. And then we continue to construct some storages. Looks like we have something that isn't assigned yet. I'm gonna go ahead and select corn rations for this storage. I think that the beavers are nearly complete with this first section of the second phase of the aqueduct. They just need to get these constructed and they should be able to come up here and then put this last levee in. And you can see that we have a lot of soybeans that are growing up, so they are ready to be harvested. Do we have a fermenter? Yes, we have a fermenter that ferments soybeans. Oh, but they need canola oil. I, I keep forgetting about that. So we'll need to plant some canola seeds. We're going to have some canola planted around here and then clear out this little patch of soybeans and plant some more canola. And then for now, I guess we can switch this back to cassavas. And then back in Alpha City, we finished constructing the front part of this little ridge area. And now we're just getting a few more dirt, dirt blocks. And this actually, these are the last couple. And this is gonna be where we place some of the monuments, although we're still a little bit short on science. So it's gonna be probably another cycle or two before we get up to the 12,000 needed in order to construct this tribute to ingenuity. And that is gonna take a lot of resources. They only have 150 gears in this district, so we might want to try and ramp up gear production a little bit. We don't have a whole lot of storage for gears, so maybe we should look at expanding some storage over here. We're going to drastically increase the amount of gears that they can store with this large warehouse. And so we can start switching some of these jobs over to the bots. Since we don't want to have the beavers trap themselves underneath here when we start putting in these power shafts, we're gonna rearrange this just a little bit. And then we want to get this constructed a little bit quicker. That way they can have the option to start placing the power shafts and the water wheels. But the beers of Alpha City are helping out quite a bit. And we're gonna have a drought starting in just a second, so we're gonna go ahead and pause all these water pumps. And with the drought starting, 
we now have a bunch of unemployed beavers and bots since all these water pumps are paused. So I think that is an excellent time to get some more inventor sets set up. So we'll get all these constructed and we do want to switch the priority to lowest on all of them since these are jobs that will just be kind of filler jobs. And it looks like since we switched all these gear workshops to having bots, we are actually pretty quickly going down in beavers, or going down in planks. So we're switching the beavers to the bots for at least this wood workshop, not wood workshop, industrial lumber mill. And the beavers are nearly done getting this section of the aqueduct complete. We'll want to get another staircase set up, and then we can start getting some dynamite placed over here. We will want to lower this to be one level lower and then here we'll go ahead and make that two but first we'll need to get rid of some of these trees over here and then we're going to top this area off because it's getting a little bit lower on water actually let's not top it off we'll pause this and then we'll see what happens when the water gets below this level since we have this section and then these two sections that can hold a lot more water Hopefully it shouldn't reduce the green space too much over here, especially considering we have this water dump right here. And we did end up clearing this section. It took a little while, but now we can get some more canola planted. And it looks like in this district, we have this guy sitting on his butt and we have five unemployed beavers. We can bump this back up to a four because it normally starts with two. And it looks like we have a lot of beavers who are hungry and thirsty over here. How are we doing on water overall? Looks like we're filling up this large water tank. So we're doing pretty good at two and a half thousand. Food wise, we are getting better. We have 700 food. We only had like 200 a couple episodes ago. We could probably use another farmhouse since there's a lot of crops. Although maybe it's just because they can't store all this. I'm gonna try something a little different. We'll get some storage set up underground for these soybeans. And then we'll get another farmhouse placed right on top of this area. And then we'll be able to plant some more crops over here as well. And it looks like they actually are done with this part of the aqueduct. Now they're just getting a bunch of dynamite placed. Although we need to fill in these gaps over here. Now that we cleared this area, we can go ahead and get another district crossing in. And it looks like they are bringing wood. Oh, is that because they're exporting it to Alpha City? That might be the case. Taking a look in the district crossing export menu. You can see that they have so much wood over here. In Bravo City, they can hold almost 3,000 and they are at 2,600. Export threshold is super low. I don't know if we want it to be quite at zero. But then in Alpha City, they are importing always. They're not exporting at all. And they only have about 550. So it is pretty helpful having the wood storage right here so the district crossing workers can just bring it right over here. So we will probably need to get some more storage set up in this district for Bravo City since I was kind of planning on having all of this go over to the new district. And the good thing is that we still have some trees that are grown up. So even if we did start running low on wood, we have quite a bit that is still available to get chopped down. How is there? Oh, he went on around the backside. I guess that's quicker than going up here and through this direction. But anyways, now we can fill in this one, and then pretty shortly we'll fill this one in after they can place some of the dynamite over here. And it looks like they are getting some of these water wheels set up, and this one is the next one that they're working on. And we can go ahead and start setting up some of these power shafts, and we can also detonate this dynamite, and then start getting some more storage set up, and then we can get a farmhouse set up, since we still have a few unemployed beavers. And it looks like we also have some homeless beavers. So we'll get another few houses set up. We'll go ahead and stick with some of these large row houses. Probably want to get at least one of them constructed pretty quickly. So we'll go ahead and get this little area blocked off with these levees and then try to lower some of the, the ground over here and then we can get a fluid dump. And really what matters is the surface area, not as much the depth. So as long as you have a nice three by three area over here, and it looks like the water did finally evaporate from right here. But it doesn't look like any of this area is impacted by that. 
And let's get some soybean storage set up for this warehouse under here. So now we just need to get these last three pieces of dynamite set up. And then after that, we will be able to blow this all up and we can start filling some water up here as soon as we get all the connections set up. We also need to get the second mechanical water pump set up. But first we gotta get this constructed. So now I'm gonna try and figure out how to efficiently get all this power directly up here. I don't have any mods, so I can't use the vertical power shaft, so I'll have to use the high power shafts instead. I have used mods in the past quite a bit, but the problem with that is that every time the game gets updated, you have to make sure that the mods are also updated, otherwise you really can't use any of them on any new worlds. So now I try and use as few mods as possible. Okay, I built quite an elaborate setup to get up here. I think they should be able to construct everything over here. Since I have these platforms over this direction, if you look from the top, as long as they build out, then these ones, they should be able to reach all these other platforms and all the other power shafts. But it looks like quite a mess from a little bit of a ways away. But we will let the beaver start working on that. And they are also starting to work on some of these platforms over here. And as soon as they finish constructing everything here, we'll probably want to get rid of these stairs. Then we can start putting in the power shafts, that way they don't trap themselves. And then back in Alpha City, because we haven't been paying much attention to them. Let's see how they're doing. They have a good amount of gears, it's going up. Planks are still in a good spot. We're doing okay on wood. And then food and water is looking good as well. Bravo City finished constructing all this. Get rid of this staircase right here. Then we'll collect that rubble, which they did immediately. Get those last two levees placed there. And then we can go ahead and detonate the dynamite. So we're gonna do that there. We're gonna watch it. This is just the beginning of the channel going over here. We will continue going over this way, although I don't know exactly when I want to turn. We'll probably work on that after we get the third district set up. And it looks like they did get the four water wheels constructed, which is fantastic. And they are making fantastic progress in all this. I don't think they can reach anything else under here. So let's try doing this. We'll get rid of these and then we can check what the range of the district center is. So they can go all the way under here. So as long as we just construct one power shaft, then they won't be able to go anywhere over in this direction. So as long as we prioritize this, get that constructed first, then we can start putting in power shafts and not have to worry about the beavers trapping themselves. And then we will want to start planning out where we're going to put these large water wheels. But we'll need to do the same thing over here with the levees. So it looks like we can fit five large water wheels over here. We will need to get some dynamite placed over in this area. So as long as we construct this and then we make a staircase down here, that should be a-okay. So we'll make all this highest priority. Oh, and I guess this as well. <laughs> and they did get that power shaft set up. So now we can start looking to get the power shafts placed in the right spot. But we can get all the vertical power shafts put in. Not the vertical, the straight power shafts. And then as soon as we finish with these turning power shafts, we will be good to go. And I think that should be all the power connections. We just need to get some of these ones over here. And the drought is officially over. Cycle 19 begins. Oh, and we do have some bots coming over here for these chargers. They're not super popular. I mean, these couple are. This one has hardly been used at all. Oh, they're probably the bots from... Yeah, it looks like they are. The bots working in this mine are the ones who are hopping in here. Looks like gears are going up. Planks are also going up. And then wood, they're still hanging out in a good spot. We can go ahead and start expanding some of the planting range. This will just ensure that we have enough trees since we still have these, but if we're moving all this wood over to the new district, and we'll want to make sure that Bravo City 2.0 has enough wood. 
And the water is flowing once again, so we can start unpausing all these jobs. We're up to nine unemployed beavers in this district. We gotta get some jobs going for them. Let's see what our needs are. Water is still looking really good. We have two full sets of haulers. We have so many builders. They make pretty good work of all the stuff that they are constructing. It looks like they actually finished this, but before I get distracted with that, we gotta get the jobs sorted out. Let's set up another water dumping area. Then maybe let's get another couple lumberjack flags set up. We have these three plus one more that's gonna be over here. I think we wanna keep working on food. So the canolas are almost grown up and then we will want to get this switch to soybeans. Although it looks like, do they not have enough cassavas? They might be going through the cassavas pretty quickly. So let's get some more of those planted. We'll get another fermenter set up and this will be set to soybeans as well. Then we'll get one more farmhouse set up. So now we can get the dynamite exploded over here. Then we just need to get rid of this staircase and put one more piece of dynamite down. And it looks like, oh, the water wheels were turned. I thought they were pumping water into here. And they did get all the power shafts set up that I've placed so far. So we'll start placing these down. And we do want to get this other mechanical water pump set up and then we can start looking at getting the power shafts finally connected in. And in this district they have, do they really have that many planks? No, they only have 170 here. Probably need to get some more plank production underway. Pop another beaver in here, they have enough power. And we also want to unpause one of these gear workshops. Oh, and we also have, oh, we need to get this set up. Now we can get rid of this. But we can go ahead and detonate these first. I want to high prioritize both of these. I think we should also get some more log storage set up. Or not logs, we're going to get more plank storage set up. And we can fit that right here. Although, I was going to have the staircase. Oh, it still works. We just got to go like this. We will need to... I guess we can get rid of that right now. Then we can get this set up. It's quite a little bit of a rat's nest over here, but this is just kind of a fun world. Not really trying to be the most efficient. Oh, we don't have an oil press. We gotta get that sorted out. We gotta get that constructed ASAP. Let's prioritize it. They should get it done pretty quickly. There's only logs, planks, and gears and not too many of each. We still have six unemployed beavers. We got these lumberjack flags set up. We're gonna get another water dump set up right here. I think right now we want to have these guys focus on cassavas. And then we'll do the same for these ones. These guys can focus on the canola. And it looks like these guys can work on the kohlrabi over here. Looks like we are down to only 26 gears. We have 97 planks, but we should probably get this going again. Seems like we are getting quite a few beavers. I think I want to pause one of these advanced breeding pods. We have quite a few unemployed beavers and I can't really find jobs for them. Ooh, they're waiting on treated planks. They probably don't have a whole lot of treated plank storage. Yeah, they can only hold 20. Alpha City, let's check on their distribution. Okay, so they have plenty to export. It seems like it's just the export rate is a little bit slower. So we are going to connect all these water wheels into this whole system. It'll just be nice to be able to have these water pumps on the same on the same circuit as these ones. That way we never have these ones pumping more than these ones can pump. Otherwise we might end up with some flooding happening. We are nearly done with this whole system. This is really just waiting on treated planks and in this district. They're getting some, but they're only only nine away. And then as soon as we get this last power shaft and then one more constructed right here, plus getting all these constructed and they can't reach it because we need to get a platform set up right here. So we are like right on the edge. We almost have this. And it looks like they just finished it. Now we can get this last power shaft set up. And then as soon as that one's ready, it looks like they finished this one. So this whole circuit should be connected now. And as soon as that one goes in, 
then they will be able to start pumping, but I think the water level is actually a little too low. And that is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. We finished the second part of phase two. So now we'll be able to start filling this up and the green space is going to be expanding quite a bit over here. I think this is a great time, or at least in the next episode will be a great time to get the third district set up. They will be essential in completing this part of the aqueduct. We'll also get a second mine set up, which is going to be very exciting. And we haven't been doing a whole lot with Alpha City recently, but they will be getting some attention in the next few episodes getting these monuments set up because we're up to nine and a half thousand science already. Now we just need to make sure that we have all the resources so that we can construct all this. But overall, these guys are doing pretty good in Alpha City. We have four and a half thousand water, almost a thousand wood, and seven and a half thousand food. So if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even more, consider becoming a channel member. And with that, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.